Ivy! Michelle! Uh, Evan, look, I can see that you're in a lot of pain. And I am trying to understand, but I don't really know what you're talking about. You stop the games, Michelle. You know I'm not being honest with you. All I know, Edmund, is we are friends, okay? You're my friend, and I, I do not believe that you would lie to me. I, I'm sorry if I gave you that impression before that, that I doubted you. I don't. It's all right. No, you didn't mean to. No, absolutely not. I, I, I didn't. I, you know, I'm just, I'm still, you know, um, I'm not ready. Let's drop the axe. Company. Michelle, shall we? I know my story about coming up here. Strain credulity just a little bit. You have to forgive me. It's not one of my better lies. I'm under a certain amount of pressure these days. Well, maybe um, I could help you. I don't know. But you certainly can't hurt me. And we can't have that. Can we? You, Cassie. You're more than happy to smile and pretend that everything is hunky-dory when you need me. I mean, when you need me, when you don't need me anymore, when, when you've gotten everything you need out of me, out come the knives and go right into the back. Oh, oh, come on, why are you doing this? Why? You were a sweet, nice, compassionate man. Yes, I know. I can be all those things. Come on, whatever's wrong, this is only gonna make it worse. You, you should just go. You should go before something else happens, so okay? So much has happened already, Michelle, so much. What do you mean? Did you do something to Cassie? Oh, God, you know, there you go. There you go. You just jumped to conclusions that I've hurt Cassie, assuming that I could hurt that woman when all I've ever really done is tried to love her. I tried to love her, Michelle. I gave her everything I had. <laughs> Everything that was on the inside, I gave it to her. I gave it to her, and my heart just, just, just sort of snapped under the strain. Everything, Michelle, I gave her everything, and she never really trusted me. I mean, not, not really ever trusted me, because nothing I ever did, no, was ever good enough. I know, really I, know, sorry. I, know I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, Michelle, I know. I know you're sorry, but you're really no better. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cassie, Cassie broke the land's speed record jumping into Jeffrey O'Neill's bed, but you're just as incapable of, 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 of befouling a marriage as she is. Hey, Edmund, you have no right to judge me, okay? You have no right. Why me? Me? Because of my past, because of all the bad things I've done in my life. Is that it, Michelle? I still know what it is to be a married man. I'm talking about what's sacred, Michelle. I'm talking about a marriage. I'm talking about two people promising to love one another for the rest of their lives and then actually doing it! I believe that too, Edmund, I do. Okay? Maybe it's not too late for you and Cassie. Oh, it's not too late. No, 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 no. No, it's not too late. It's not too late because she loved me once and she's going to love me again. There's just one thing standing in our way. What is it? You. Michelle! Michelle! Are you obviously we're here, the lights are on. Michelle! Where did you go? That's my man, Robbie. Put the date on it from mommy. She was here. Where did she run off to? Michelle! Dick. Michelle! Dick. Honey, are you Look, all right? I'm here. Hey, are you Look, all right? What are you doing you. outside? Wait, wait, how did you find me? Michelle, listen to me. Listen to me. Calm down. Listen to me. Nice. Michelle, there is something that you need to know. Michelle, listen to Danny, me. I've been looking everywhere Danny, for you. Wait. Sit down. I need wait, to no, talk to you. No, you gotta listen to me. You don't Michelle, understand. It's really important. I Danny, need to you tell have to you lock something. the door. Michelle, Trust I know you don't want to see me, but there's something Danny, that you, you need you, to know. Please, you... Listen to Danny, me. Danny, look out! Oh my God, Danny! Oh my God, Danny! Back off, Michelle. Why are you doing this, Edmund? You know, you should have stayed in the car because the moment you ran away, I was obliged to do this. Now get up and move away from Danny. Hell, I will. Do it now! He better be all right, Edmund. I swear to God, I'm warning you. He better be all right. You know what? Call me crazy, Michelle. But you're really not in a position 
to issue. Oh, here we go. You're not in a position to issue demands, ultimatums, or threats. Now grab his arms. What? Grab his arms. We're taking Danny for a little drive. You think I'm going to help you? You're out of your mind. Grab his arms now, Michelle. Or I'm going to no, disembowel Ray, leave him alone. and use his stomach just... cavities or fruit Leave cup. him alone. I'm sorry I can't do that, but you know there is something I can do for you. What are you talking about? I can make your dreams come true again. Remember all that time we spent together when you never shut up about how you wanted to get back together with Danny? I can do that for you. I can really do that for you, Michelle. You can be back with Danny forever. <laughs> Tie you in the Danny. car, Michelle, and then I'm gonna come back here and drag Clark Kent out. But here's all. Get away from me! You know, you're just making this worse for yourself. You know how the story ends. That's right, Edmund. I do, and I'm not going anywhere. Then stop postponing the inevitable. Oh, Edmund, when I walk out that door, I'm not gonna have a lot of time, am I? So if this is the last bit of home I get. I'm going to take my time in saying goodbye to it. Oh God, please tell me you're joking. I don't understand. I've had some of the best moments of my life in this house. Haven't you had memories growing up as a kid that you love and cherish? No, all of them I'd like to forget. Well, not me. Okay, I've had, I've had millions and millions of memories here, wonderful times. There, there's got to be trunks and trunks full of, of pictures up in the attic here. Okay, and Danny and I, we would spend hours hours up there. I mean, we would we would walk up those those rickety pull-down attic stairs through the trap door. And we would look through snapshots of photo albums and, and next thing you know, three hours have gone by. Michelle! <laughs> Call the police. It's all right. It's all right. It's over. I don't think so. Oh, you know, Danny, I thought someone with your background would be a lot better at this. Michelle, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Danny. You could have killed us. Michelle, listen. Listen to me. No. Danny. Listen. Listen to me. I don't even listen. know why he came after me. I don't even Michelle, know why he's here. How did he know it's... Danny, Michelle, he's getting away. Call he's getting away. Call the police. Call the police. Danny! 